Hello guys, this is another video how to make coin splash effect but this time without any animation I'm gonna leave the source code on the github so you can download it Let me first explain how it works I'm gonna disable the chest and as you can see only player left uh, he can instantiate an apple if I press P and as you can see it won't bounce so let me play with the settings the apple has a loot script and if I open the settings menu I can change the number of bounces so if I set it on the free it will bounce free time but I would like to slow down the apple so I'm gonna slow it down on the uh, y-axis now each bounce it will slow down on the y-axis I would like to slow down on the x-axis as well and I would like to it's uh, I throw it kind of far away I'm gonna slow it down on the horizontal force and now it looks like as it should and what velocity does it's at the height so if I set it on the 15 or 20 yeah I will throw it way more higher as you can see I can pick up the apples that because the pickup type if I set it on the never I won't be able to pick up the apple and who can collect is a player and my player has a player tag mm, gravity is self explaining and destroy time is actually uh, how many or time after it will be destroyed so if I go to the apple set it 3 seconds and throw an apple it will be destroyed after 3 seconds <coughs> so let me show you how to create one I'm gonna go to the sprites pick up the heart and disable the chest I don't need it anymore and if I give the heart a loot script it's enough to make it work as you can see if I play it it will bounce but it needs some time so let me go to the script I'm gonna give it some time and after one second we will see the bounce effect last thing to explain is uh, as you can see we have only one object with that loot script and if I play it and it will on the start create a body which will move only up and down until it reach the position of the shadow and shadow will be also created but it has a uh, order minus one so it will be always under the body and both of them will follow the parent which has disabled the sprite renderer so it won't cover up the shadow uh, this is a little example how it looks like in my project and let me gather some resources some stone now I need uh, sticks I can craft the knife equip it so I can cut the grass now I can, I need more stone I 
Gencraft X and I can craft a pickaxe found some stone and that's it yeah 